we spoke about not being a busy fool. Yeah. He charges the right money. Yeah, definitely. And, yeah. And again, what he said is you could charge. It didn't mean the, the, it's all, it's, but the, when we say charging the right money, it's all like whatever somebody's situation is. It's like, hard because you need the money. Yeah, I know, I know you yeah. need the money, but. CP Carpentry, painters doing that shot put thing, but instead of throwing 5 kg kettlebells, let them lob 10 litres of paint. Biggest splat wins. Mm. <laughs> Not a bad idea. PB plumber, fencer, fencing. Simple. Simple, isn't it? Simple as that. Simple as that. TSQ2 is us sparkies would be doing up gymnastics or badminton. At least on Instagram. And when this supervisor had hired me, he told me I was lucky to get the job as they were worried about me getting pregnant one day and having to give me maternity leave as if they chose a bloke they wouldn't have to worry. Absolutely unacceptable. You wouldn't say that to that person, would you? Um... No, uh, you don't realize like that's what goes you, you, through people's heads. That, but that, that's yeah, that's that's what these these people think. But hello, welcome to off the job overtime, where there's banter and your story shared. Please be warned, there may be some general explicit content. Okay, welcome to another edition of Off the Job Overtime with me, Pete Withers, and them there, Kieran Yates. You look like you're trying to be a surfer. Da, your hat backwards. Da, 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 da. I'm good, innit? Look good, innit? Right. Got a big fat head. Look at that. Number Mate, you strap need that's a shape, on. You need a shape up. That's a proper strap, that is. How you been? <laughs> I'm all right. Have you yeah. missed me? I've been away. Yeah, oh, yeah. I really missed you. Yeah. Really, really it's missed you. It's been like two, three weeks. I since know. How other. could we not see each other for three weeks? Oh. What have you been up to? Tell me. Not a lot, mate. Not a lot. A few bits. A few mm. bits and bobs. I've, um, I'll tell you a story, right? Yeah. So, you know, like, my girlfriend's a bit younger than me. You have a girlfriend? Yeah. don't know if I've mentioned it before on there. Yeah. <laughs> right. But she's a bit younger than me, right? So, bit, she's 28, right? So, my... Just um, turned 28. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 28 sounds all right, doesn't right. it? Say 27, 26. Right. So, so. Um, anyway, so... When um, did you meet at 23? Yeah, no. <laughs> I met her in school. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. But like only a when year you was ago. doing a job. Anyway, so <laughs> this, no, that's CD. Right. Anyway, so so basically, she's meant to be coming to his wedding with me on Sunday evening, right? But last minute babysitter couldn't get a babysitter, right? So I thought, ah, oh, what am I gonna do now? Me and me, me daughter, right? She's been coming into work with me in the school holidays and all that. So we've been bonding a bit, you know, you know, I said to her, and she goes out of her mum to parties and stuff. I went, um, do you, do you want to come to the wedding? Because she knows my mate and his son. Yeah. So I said, do you want to come to the wedding like reception with us? She was like, yeah, all right then, dad. So she comes to the wedding reception. My mate's dad comes up to her and he goes, I've heard so much about you. He goes, he tells me about it all the time. He said, you're so good for him. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> This is my 13 year old daughter. This is my 13 year old daughter. This is not my girlfriend. This is my. Oh my, my God. Yeah, this is my 13 year old. Who said this? My mate's dad. He's he's quite old, right? He's yeah. about 80, right? And I'm like, no, this is not. I mean, my, my daughter looks older than what she is, but not 28, right? Blimey. But then, but then all of a sudden, it suddenly dawned on me, right? That everybody at this wedding reception is looking at me, thinking that my daughter is my girlfriend. <laughs> my God. Right? How he probably went round and told everyone. How uncomfortable! He? Everyone who's coming up to me then, after I've signed it, I'm going, "This is my daughter. This is my daughter. This is my daughter." Put a, put a label on your head saying "daughter," Peter's daughter. Do you know what I mean? I was like, "Jesus Christ!" Do you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't even think about it. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like, I was just thinking, "Take me daughter to me mate's wedding," but no, everybody thought that I was a paedophile. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do you know what I mean? It was terribly uncomfortable. Something that I will not be. Uh... Right, moving on from the uh... paedophilia. <laughs> so we are <laughs> just to mention, if you don't know, we're going to be at Fex South, which is in Olympia, London. It's a plumbing and heating exhibition. If you haven't been, yeah, we're going to be doing a live show at three twenty p.m. on the first day, <laughs> which is Olympia. Here we come and lock up your daughters. <laughs> That is the 12th of September, isn't it? <laughs> I haven't got a date here. 11th. 11th of September. 11th of September, we are at Olympia, yeah, doing the FEX plumbing and heating 
the show week. is free. Like, if you want to get free tickets, check the link in the description below. I'm sure it'll be put in there. In our bio. In our bio. Are we going to put it on the YouTube channel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll be in the description below as well. Yeah. In case you're not on Instagram. Um, or any of our other podcast platforms that we're on. What's that? Remember, podcast platforms exist. What Abigail said. <laughs> YouTube. Spotify. Spotify. It'll be in every description you see. Yeah. Um, should we get onto the comments? Come then, yeah. This is a bit of a throwback to Ollie when we done the live Q&A. We need to do another one of them. Um, we've got Derek. What? Well, me and I was talking about that earlier. Oh, was you? Yeah. We've got Derek McGregor. Like it ain't Connor. 7459. Great podcast. I've been looking into doing a managed learning program for heating engineer qualification, but not sure about it. Anyone have any advice? Have you got any advice for him? Yeah. You deal with all the colleges and all that malarkey, don't you? He wants to do a managed learning program for heating engineer qualification, but not sure about it. The thing is, that's already out there. Like, There's not much training in terms of... There's a lot of videos out there, but there's not like a platform where you've got everything on there, how to strip down a boiler, how to fix a certain boiler fault on a boiler. Like to find it, it's not that easy. No. Well, you could say it's easy, but I don't know where he's going. Basically, what you want is like he's he's going to want a platform where so he's searched all that all that information instead of you going on like say youtube yeah. or whatever there's a platform where you can just type in like and it'll show you videos on yeah. people changing various boiler parts or or getting over a particular problem in heating mm. is that is that what i'm getting think get, so, yeah. it's not a bad idea I, is it yeah, it's all I, in one I place thought, then, i isn't thought it? about it sort of like a community type without doing um and yeah having just a platform with everything on it for that person the main thing with it you've got to make it easy to use if it's full of if it's hard to get around that platform, then it's going to be people are just going to walk away from it. But I think that's what he means by a managed learning program. But yeah, it depends what he wants to put in it. Yeah. Um, it's definitely something you can do. Yeah, definitely. We have uh, the interview with carpet fitter and comedian Wilson. We had a comment from CP Carpentry. Uh, the day-to-day -day running of any business is hard to juggle. The second you switch off, the world stops turning for you. It is one thing getting ahead and feeling successful, but humbly I've learned success is only ever rented. Take your foot off the gas and it all slows down. Mm. Yeah, very correct in that one. Yeah. I mean, um, I've taken my foot off the gas a uh, long time ago <laughs> and it is incredibly slow for me at the moment, to be honest with you. With, within the work yeah, but sector. If you're fully on the gas, that's when you, you struggle to keep that up. Yeah. Like I, Kev that we just had on, we spoke about not being a busy fool. Yeah. He charges the right money. Yeah, definitely. And, yeah. And again, what he said is... You could charge. It didn't mean it's all. It's, but the, when we say charging the right money, it's all like whatever somebody's situation is. It's like, hard. You need the money. Yeah, I know. I know you yeah. need the money. But, but what we're saying is, you're in competition with people out there, right? So if you're in competition with a lot of people, there's a lot of plumbers out there, especially in my town. Blah blah blah. If you've got one plumber, right, whose whose mortgage is paid up already, right, because he bought like his council house like back in the eighties or nineties, whatever, he's just coming to the end of his career, right? He's knowledgeable as f he doesn't need. Well, let's bleep that out. He doesn't need the money. What you need. Right, so you're not on an even kill, are you? Do you know what I mean? You're a case of he's charging what 150 quid, yeah, for doing that job. Whereas plumbers who've got mortgages coming out their eyeballs and training and doing all this stuff still need more money to yeah. get through. And it's more how you start, but people start off like that. They start taking off the. They start taking anything. You don't yeah. have to start like no, that. No, no, you don't. I know you don't. But so it's when you're wrapped up in that, you're already caught up. But everyone, this is the same thing I always go on about. Everybody's situation is different, in it? Everybody needs X amount of money for their own situation. So like be, when you're in competition, that's why it's competition, isn't it? Some people can get away with like charging £200 a day, £150 a day because they've got no like mortgage. They've all got bills, isn't they? So it's all relevant to what situation you're in. So if you're in competition with a lot of people, <laughs> whose mortgages are all paid up you're going to struggle aren't you you know yeah. what I mean Wait, so on the Trady Olympics promo we had CP Carpentry painters doing that shot put thing but instead of throwing 5kg kettlebells 
Let them lob 10 litres of paint. Biggest splat wins. Mm. <laughs> Not a bad idea. PB plumber, fencer, fencing. Simple. Simple, isn't it? Simple as that. Simple as that. TSQ2 is us sparkies would be doing up gymnastics or badminton. I don't know about that. Mm. Yeah, why? Because they're like uh, badminton, I can understand, because they're cocks. <laughs> Why gymnastics? I don't know about gymnastics. Maybe they like wearing leotards. Possibly. Possibly. Because they're sparkies. They like to wear sparkles. Oh, yeah, that could be it. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if they're going down that route. <laughs> um, I've got some. I've got three words in my mind. Go on. Right. The idea is that Kev knows what it is. <laughs> he can work his <laughs> out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's because Kev's I'm saying nothing, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go on. What, go on. Read so, the next one, yellow. I'll, I'll notice this as well. <laughs> when we know a promo, I said 2012. You did, didn't you? <laughs> um, yeah, what was that all about? 2012? I don't know, because I noticed it. I said it on other things. I said it to um, Lid, but I can't it's remember. It's because you used to drink the drink 2020. 2012. And people picked it up. Is there a home advantage? This was based on the Olympics being in London, I think. It's because the home nation enters a contestant team for every event, so they're going to win more because they have entered more. Fair enough. Fair enough. The French pole vault Anthony Amirati losing his Olympic dream for being God's favourite. Oh, that was when his dick hit the pole. <laughs> Glister uh, services. I understand them problems. Yeah. <laughs> Glister Just to services. Just so you know, we've got Kevin in the background yeah. watching us. Glister services. Best self promo ever. He sacrificed his gold medal to pro. Promote his OnlyFans. He only earned 42k doing his sport, but has just received over 150k on his OnlyFans. Imagine if that was true. <laughs> uh, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, it's, it's great promo, isn't it? I this mean, that, he's done well there, isn't he, with that? I mean, I think it's irony, isn't it? I mean, to do, actually, uh, he's a pole vaulter, and yet it was technically his pole that let him down. <laughs> this is this is quite ironic as well. The next name, Jim Salopec. Salopecker. <laughs> and they probably don't know they're in for some stiff competition. <laughs> <laughs> um, Apfagan1129. He's definitely the only man in the world that's wishing he was born with a tiny wiener. <laughs> don't know about that. Yeah. But then no. we've got the... Um... Believe me, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> years of years. Did your of... mum say it's not the size, it's how you use it? No, my... Is that just my No, mom? no, so... <laughs> what? Sorry, can we so, take that out? No, no, no. So... So, so did you say your mum said so, that? So, yeah. let, let, so let me... So, so let me let me just put yeah, this... Yeah, I don't know why I just... Let me just, put this into, <laughs> let me just put this into perspective, right? So, so, it's, so I was laying in bed. I was laying in bed with a partner once, right? And... Um, I, 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 was talk, I was talking about me mate over there. I was saying, he's a skinny bloke, right? But he's got a massive, massive pole. She went, oh, my ex was like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, went, well, I, went, I, went, I went, hang on a minute. What? She went, don't feel threatened by it, babe. She went, it's not the size of it. It's the job it does. I went, <laughs> hang on. I said, not threatened by your ex's member. I went, <laughs> if I'm in a swamp and there's a little baby crocodile, I'm not threatened. But if there's a big fuck off crocodile, I'm threatened. I'm scared. <laughs> all right? You know, it's like anything. Do you know what I mean? If I was to go in a cage fight with a little bloke, I wouldn't be threatened. But if some giant mammoth was there, I'd be threatened. Same thing with dicks. All right? <laughs> Same thing. Okay? Should we get off the dicks up there? <laughs> we normally go quite off. So we had the um, interview of Ellis, ELS Electrics. Who has it tougher, plumbers or electricians? Who have we got? Jamie Musgrove, electricians and plumbers are only fitters. You are not a trademan, none of you. LOL. Ooh! <laughs> I wonder what Ooh, he he's does. flexing. <laughs> he's flexing. Or see a painter. Yeah, what's he do? <laughs> oh, I'm a, I'm a chippy. I'm a chippy. Oh, yes. The biblical sense. The biblical, biblical trade, the chippies, didn't they? Yeah. Jesus was a chippy. Could have done with some no nails. Next comment. <sighs> Jameson McVitie should have said the only test you do is whether it leaks. Sparks have to carry out so many tests. 
not even going there. I'm not even going there. All right, should we move on? I'm not even going there. Dan Taylor, 10236. How dead slash on fire is your customer's house if you don't do the rad up tight? Oh, right. The, all it's all the electricians coming at us. Uh, yeah, but you but, get a lot more leaks and fires. Yeah. So yeah. that's a very rare occasion. Yeah, no, but you've got you've got something be called I an R. You got something called an you got something called an RCD that protects you all now, ain't you? Yeah, that's that's the get if out clause. Right, yeah. That's the get out clause for the electricians here. Oh no, if we get some comments on that one now, we know. <laughs> Go on, you read the long one. Oh yeah, Craig Fling, nineteen eighty seven. When it's a small job, I agree. If it's a swap one socket and swap one radio, that's really annoying for the heating engineer. However, I'm doing a full rewire in Kent, and my mate, the heating engineer, is doing a full central heating system with a new boiler and radiator supplied by the customer. Our prices are almost identical, yet in the smallest room, there's six down lights, four double sockets and two light switches compared to his one radiator and the bathroom fit outs are separate cost. Again, to be honest, there's a lot more. I get that. And oh, what, pulling, pulling your wire. Huh? That's got... all you are, you electricians. All you are is wire pullers. Wire pullers. I was going to say something wire else. Wire pullers. <laughs> <laughs> we'd wind them right No, up. but you know what's interesting? We had... Um, Res- with the greatest respect to electricians, we had Adam, I would be an electrician because I'd, I'd prefer to cleaner. be an electrician. It's a better job, in it? Yeah, more money. You are the gods no, outside. I You're the gods. Maybe because they're treated You're better by... You're just not charging enough, Pete. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> um, who do we have in? Adam and Aaron. Because Aaron's been a plumber and electrician. He said electrician's harder. Yeah. I'm guessing. That's because yeah. basically he was an electrician first. If he'd have been a plumber first, he would have said plumbing's harder. No, mm. nah, no, no, take me out of electricians. It's actually it's quite a science to do in it to get through it. The course and all that. It's nah, I'm, so, I'm not I'm not one for that sort of like educational mm. shit. So this is another one. From well Ellis. done, you electricians. Well done. Another promo. The fears in your heads a lot worse than reality. At least on being a female in the trades. The happy Mandela barn. Awesome at ELS. Amazing role model for all those youngsters out there wanting to get into a trade. Go Ellis. Nice. Yeah. So, Elise's experience being asked to bend over a desk as a 17-year-old apprentice to get her new boots. Elise on Instagram. This is Elise on Instagram. And when this supervisor had hired me, he told me I was lucky to get the job as they were worried about me getting pregnant one day and having to give me maternity leave as if they chose a bloke they wouldn't have to worry. Absolutely unacceptable. You wouldn't say that to that person, would you? Um, no. Uh, you don't realise. Like, that's what goes you, you, through people's heads. That, but that, that's, yeah, that's that's what these these people think. But we're, are we going to get on to this? Like, how... Yeah, we are, aren't we? So... The good, yeah, because she had some bad. Yeah, problems. we got some vile stuff off off of TikTok mainly. It was, it's very, very, um, it's worrying really mm. the attitudes out there in it from some people who commented on this post. It was on TikTok, and 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 some of the comments unacceptable. And we had to delete them, Ab, didn't we? We had to delete a few comments. A lot of comments off TikTok and Facebook. Yeah, it, absolutely vile places for all these, and I'm gonna say it. Your potential nonces, and I don't know if we if we bleep that out or whatever. But you, if you've got that, there's something in you that is not right. Mm. You're not you're not right. So go on. We start off with a good comment. Go on, go on. So Anthony Clement, she's only 17 at the time. When the boss is saying that, sorry, but that's a HR issue for suggestive remarks. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. We'll take but it. people are actually like. Not saying she was scared in that situation, but people were always worried to speak out on what's happened. Yeah, you know, definitely. You know. Darren Stanley, and, and, and I fully agree with this here, if my 17-year-old daughter came home and told me her boss at work spoke to her like that, I'd be going to jail for real. Like, m- no man f- with my daughter in any way. I'm making right. I would be straight up there and 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 he would be round the throat. If- Sorry, I've got to say, but your daughter's your... <laughs> no, I don't don't want to say yeah. <laughs> but I would, I would, I would have him around the throat. If yeah. anyone spoke to my daughters like that, I would definitely. I'm going with Darren on that one. Then Dan Giddens, this is common problem in workplaces: creepy old bosses who think it's okay to talk to young employees in a disgusting manner. Mm. I suppose it's the same, isn't it? Thou and thou. Talonet, 
and that she said rank it's a shame we all have more than one story like this yeah and it, and it's sort of like in this day and age where we should be getting over that fact and we're trying to encourage um women into the trade sector workplace we don't need attitudes like that do we don't need attitudes like that at all because that is what is making women think twice about actually they want to do in a trade but they don't want to be creeped out by some pervert it's what puts people off yeah that's what puts women off I bet there's a lot of people out there that and haven't it, it, run it, into it, it the really, trade it really surprised me the comments that came in from that which were just vile and p just people like yeah there's it, some, it, it, there's we, some we, here like, this probably ain't the worst one we're gonna get on to this yeah these are the very mild negative comments that we received. Yeah. Go on. They're all like, what? I never knew that. Girls can't hack site banter. Mm. Charlie, that's why you can't let them into the wonderful world of banter. There's difference between banter and perverse humour. Banter's banter. Mm. Perverse humour is not banter. If you're making someone feel uncomfortable about that, that's, that's not banter. Especially not a let's for, there's probably let's not women, forget if you know them as a friend. There's probably women that you can banter with like that because you've known them for a long time. But yeah, just not a seventeen-year-old yeah. girl. She's not even an adult, and people think that's acceptable. You're vile, um, babe. She loved the attention though. That's from from a woman, Kaylee. Yeah, no, and do you know what I mean? Like that's that's. Mm. I, I don't know how you can comment on that if you wasn't in the situation, if you wasn't there at the situation. You got f someone called Fully Stick. Oh my God, God, what a survivor she is. I roll emoji. These are, yeah, I can't. They wind me up. Drake's Sausage. That says it all in your profile name. What a lovely imagination. You know what I mean? Um, so do you want me to read this bit? Yeah, go on then. So, Ab you, you, you think it's so right. Abby took part on an LBC radio discussion using this story on sexual harassment of women and sh and uh, should the public be doing more to help curb this behaviour? The comments on Elisa's experience, the comments not mentioned, were worse and proves that there is still caveman man mentality towards women. And those calling that behaviour out are being labelled as snowflakes. Nah, I ain't a fucking snowflake by, by any stretch of the imagination. I've got three daughters and I would like to think... If if any of them come home and said that they've been treated like that in the workplace, no father in their right mind would take that. And obviously these people either haven't got kids or daughters or they are perverse. You're you just want to go into a safe environment, didn't you? Yeah, not... that's it. But yeah, that was quite interesting. That, yeah. That topic. Can I interject? Yeah. But that's all comments online, right? Yeah. So... Do you reckon then people would say that in person? That's what they're thinking in their head and their keyboard warriors and, and commenting like that. But I don't, they I don't say what, whatever whatever way you look at it, it's, it's wrong. A, it's, like, and it's I don't a, condone it at it's, all. No, it's, it's making it's me a, angry just hearing it's it. It's a view it's a viewpoint which could could then ultimately just them comments can influence others. Do you know what I mean? And that I think that's I think that's the point of it. It's like people wear these views which they should stay, stick in their head. That, this is with all trolling. They should keep them fucking views in their head because some people will look at them comments and agree with it and think, oh, yeah, they, they've said that. That's all right. And it's just a, a, it slowly, slowly, then it becomes some sort of like fucking disease that is spreading amongst all these f weirdos. I, I, I don't agree with it because I don't like anyone feeling uncomfortable in my company. Mm. So if someone feels like that, I'd probably go out of my way to try and make yeah. them feel comfortable because it's just it's just not acceptable in this no, day and age. It's not, it's not, it's just it's just yeah, wrong. So next we've got Kieran's quote hunting at the dentist when I fought like a tradesman at the dentist. <laughs> um Leon three three seven, yeah, but then how do you know he, he ain't using cheaper materials, cutting corners? Do dentists ever get checked by a governing body? It's very much the same as a house owner has to go through. Three quotes and three massive variations on prices. Yeah, I did read another comment. It did make me think, like, are they doing... You'd think they're doing the same job, didn't you, compared to, like, fitting a boiler, because a filling's a filling, right? They use a different type of material for your filling. Mm. I don't know. Maybe is there a standard? Product, yeah. what, what is it? Uh, chili con carne. That's also customer mentality. You got it for half the price, but wasn't the same work. He's agreeing, saying, Kieran, you, um, you're definitely one of the customers that he has. Uh, you know, they use, uh, 
they, 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 you use plastic pipe, mate. That's what he's basically saying. <laughs> Tristan Allen, you managed to get in at a dentist. That's an achievement in itself. Mm. I think you can get in them if you... You can do. Because there was, there was a time where it's like you had to apply, didn't you, to get in a dentist, but there's so many popping up now, you can just sort of... I think um, the a lot of the country is still relying on NHS services for dentistry. So if you go private, it's a lot easier to get work done. But with the NHS, you are having to, we are looking at huge waiting times just to be able to get a checkup. And a dentist? Yeah. With the NHS? Yeah. I mean, with the NHS, you still have to pay, but it's at a hugely like discounted rate. So really? like, I thought you like, once you're over 18 and working, you just you pay what you pay. No. I've, I've paid for the longest time. Every time I've gone near a dentist, they stick a needle in my face. and So you can go wallet. to the dentist now and say, I'm doing it through the NHS and pay less? Yeah. You've got to be registered. A lot you have to be on the, uh, the NHS list. Okay. <clears throat> and if you don't go, I think it's once every year or a couple of years, you get taken off the list. Mm. And to get back on the list, it takes, some people are saying around about five years to get back on. Well, I don't have that problem. I don't go to the dentist, as you can probably see from my graveyard of a mouth. <laughs> I didn't go for 10 years. Then I went. I should go time. again soon because I've lost a couple of fillings. I don't need to replay him. But yeah, uh, it's tooth talk, isn't it? Anyway, you can always spot a newbie on site by finish the sentence. Ells Electric said the brand new workwear. Yep. That's a good one. Always got a bright, spanking, brand new, like high vis on. You just want to christen them, didn't you? Boots. You always stand Rubbing on their the boots. Huh? Stand on their boots. Yeah. Just fix Geo. I was going to say the Chanel Blue wafting about. They'll learn. Chanel Blue. What? I haven't experienced that one. Is that what, aftershave that? or something? What is that? Chanel Blue. What's he talking about? I don't know that. what sites he it's works uh, on. Men's perfume. What's he doing? What? Oh, Does anyone wear oh, that? Trust Just Fix Geo to say yeah, that in his pink t shirt. I mean, yeah, and he's like, you know, <laughs> metrosexual ways. He's making too much money, that's why. <laughs> that's what it is. Sparky Millen, the new influencer kit. Unilite, gilet, steel blue boots, Vito bag, Nipex. Sounds a bit like me. <laughs> Apart from the uh, I steel if blue boots. There's an influencer boots. kit out there. Probably. They should probably. be one, shouldn't they? Influencer mm. kit. Somebody <laughs> should give it away. Here's an influencer kit. Become an influencer. No, that would be too much. <laughs> IRB heating. They still have a smile on their face. Yes. <laughs> True. Yep. Yep. You know when somebody's seasoned, they just look like a miserable bastard. Uh, Pentagon carpentry and joinery. The Stanley Blue Strike Hammer. Never seen one. I know what it is. Has a chippy thing. Probably a chibi thing, isn't it? Yeah. Chris Ruddock, the oversized high vis in clown work. There you boots. go. Yeah, here it is. What yeah. boots did you buy when you first went on site? I think I had DeWalt. Yeah, they were the they were the common ones, the DeWalt stand. The Grafters. The DeWalt's, yeah, yeah. They were the ones. Right. Um the so ar they've put on there the arm wrestle pole. Shall we reveal when recording? We haven't got we haven't finished the pole yet. No, that's the, when I beat the poll's you going you out. Yeah, yeah, we can do, listen, Kieran. Mike. That was on the all last due one. All due respect, mate, you lost three times to a weaker man. I'll go again, but well, obviously not weaker. A weaker looking Light man. Work. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely pulverized you, mate. Beat it. Anyone in here? Who, who see the video in here? Anyone? Did I cheat? A little bit. Bollocks! Yes, I didn't Kev. cheat. No, I didn't cheat. Bit. You, um, you 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 swung your way into it like you you did like your elbow was all over the gaff. He have, was pulling it all over. I reckon you should do you a three. rematch with proper rules. Who you think won out of you three? Pete won. Or, Here and won. I think Pete won. Oh, he but he cheated. On the bed. He cheated. Cheat. I never cheated. I was. It was the. It was the. The actual. The was this. Thing here, wouldn't it? it? Weren't my fault. I reckon we get a proper table and have right. a yeah, I'll beat rematch. him in a proper table, mate. I'll tell you, right, I'll break your this, fucking arm next time. If Funny. anyone hasn't seen that promo, about, I'm not fucking about. If it next anyone time. hasn't seen that promo, please go on that video and put in who you think won. You have to watch the whole video. Yeah, but you didn't see who won. You went down three times. Three, two lefts, one right. Yeah, you'll get a fucking like right Muhammad night, Ali. Mate. Yeah, the, the TikTok night. video has a poll on it. Does Bush. it? Has anyone done that yet? Yeah, they vote. The people have been voting. That's why I've, I've put. Do you want to reveal the re results? And what is it poll? then? Have you seen it yet? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Well, tell who, us. Who, yeah. Go on. So, the poll is: Did Pete? Uh, does Pete cheat? Oh, that ain't like who won then. 
go. That's peachy. Yeah, that's a fair enough answer, isn't it? So 38% voted for yes. And 62% voted for no. Oh, yeah, baby! Turn your volume down. Yeah, but what does TikTok know? They don't know exactly. nothing. That's just TikTok. <laughs> we need all platforms. Yeah! They know! Right. The guns! Did you see... I don't want you to keep talking about this. Did you see the photos that were sent? Did you show Pete? What? Oh, this. A guy that I worked with. Yeah. Blast from the past. Sorry, quickly from the arm wrestle, uh, Kieran. Your mum would like another one. Is that what she said? <laughs> Go on, mum. <laughs> your mum would you like... Don't, you don't want to know what I said did, about you what, earlier. What you, <laughs> hang on a minute. She did, commented did, saying... That's made me giggle. Do another one tomorrow. Brilliant. Kiss. I thought she... Uh, when she said your mum would like another one, I thought she meant you've been arm wrestling your mum. <laughs> <laughs> because there was a bit of, like, inconsistency with that one as well. Me. Nobody actually knew who won that one. Either. I want another one, Kieran. I don't think I'd want to arm wrestle my mum. She's got big arms. <laughs> Is she? Yeah. <laughs> she That's where you get it from, is it? go gym. It's in the Wilson trait. Um... Right, yeah, that's a nice photo, isn't it? Can we put this up on YouTube when we, so people can that, see that's it? That's a lovely photo. That Do you want to know where that was? That was in, we was doing a job in Dartford and that was in someone's bedroom and had a guitar and glasses in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you'll get the comments, should have been working, not pissing about with somebody's guitar and glasses. Mm. Yeah, you're a typical tradesman, Kieran. That did make me laugh. You're not allowed to have there. a laugh on site, not at the expense of somebody else's guitar. You get all them people on there. They're snowflakes. That's what you call a snowflake. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, message on TikTok. Oh, I didn't get that. Oh, oh it's right further that, down. That, that's, that's, for, that relev that's relevant to the photo, right? Yeah? Yeah. So, so the message on TikTok. No, this is a different... Oh, it's different. This is a different person. Oh, different person. Oh, right. Okay. Kieran. Oh, Pete. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was some sort of revelation. Hello? I'm in the library. Not funny, no? Uh, did you... <laughs> hang on a minute. Did you plan that? <laughs> no. Was that Was that like, hang on a minute, I'm going to rip off Dom Jolly and like that, that programme that he was on? I thought on. he was going to laugh. No. No. All right, go on. Message on that? TikTok. I don't know who it is. It's my other phone that I've only just recently turned back on. It's really and it's ruined it. Made, it made a really, really... Weird atmosphere about it now. He's actually got somebody to phone his phone in no, the middle I haven't. to try and Should make I'll a show joke. You the Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I don't, don't. No relevance to me, is it? Is All it? Right. If you want to try don't and make funny to the mobile phone, right? You know what I mean, Kieran. Oh my God, you probably don't remember me. It's Spencer, a mate of Joe Payne's. You dated his sister years ago. Oh God. Love the podcast, mate. Oh, why are you saying Pete this? is a legend. Oh, here we go. And his stuff makes me crease up. Glad to see... I just feel a bit cringe saying that. Do we have to do that bit? Yeah, go on. What's up with it? Glad to see you, mate. It's, it's talking not about you. What are you saying? It's not all about you, he's mate. Just saying, he's just saying, I'm a legend. But, you know, I bet you an you're just, you're just You're just reminded of yeah, him for dumping his sister. he recognised me and you're a legend. <laughs> or did she dump you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you try that telephone trick on her, did you? Everyone... <laughs> Everyone leaves me. In bed. It's not his sister. <laughs> it's his friend's sister. Joe oh, his Payne's friends. Oh, sister. Joe, Joe Payne. I'm glad. I bet Joe Payne, if he's listening to this now, he's, he's glad that you are telling everyone you shagged his sister. Can we watch out? My mum's listening. You want to cut this now? <laughs> <laughs> but no. Well, I enjoyed that little episode. I enjoyed that little episode. It was really good. With Thanks a lot. audience. Yeah, don't remember... Fex were there. Yeah, September no, do remember Fex. Don't, don't say don't remember Fex. No, do remember Fex. Yeah, I like, don't remember to get your tickets. The 11th he didn't and 12th. let me finish, does he? He butts in. No, you say it all wrong. Does he butt in? Yes. The 11th I've no, and 12th. I've noticed this today and I was going to say something after. Oh, woo. We're going to go... <laughs> Are you talking like children? <laughs> you, you go, since the arm wrestle, for the last two weeks, the pair of you have been bickering like it's a couple of ten-year-olds. It's not my year -olds. fault. He tries to be strong, but can't. I reckon right. you should just have a tear up and I mean, deal imagine, with it that way. Just imagine if I did the training and ate the same foods as Kieran. Can On you that imagine? Note, thank you for listening. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
All right, this has been another episode of Off The Job Podcast. Thanks for watching the show on YouTube or listening on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts and all other streaming platforms. If it's your first time watching or not, make sure to subscribe below and follow us on all the big social media stuff like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. For our overtime show on Monday, send us in your stories and comments for it to be read out on the show. Send it in via email, direct message through our social media accounts or WhatsApp us on 07457 406259. And we'll see you on the next episode.